The first day of spring produced an absolutely gorgeous day in Salem, both outside of the Salem Civic Center and inside of the historic arena. Fans from both sides were jacked up for the Division III championship game that not only was witnessed by a healthy crowd inside, but by thousands more watching on CBS College Sports TV. The color guard that was comprised of members of the Salem City Police Department created some pregame order and the final moments of silence on either side of the court. Stevens Point was the home team on the scoreboard and the pointers took advantage of a game high 12 point first half effort from senior Matt Moses to offset the hot shooting East. Williams followed up its 70% second half outburst in the semifinals by shooting 54% in the opening half of the title tilt. Troy Whittington threw down nine in the first half and Blake Schultz matched that number to compliment his teammate. The score was tied three times in the opening half and the lead changed hands twice as the East took a 32 to 30 halftime lead. They're very well coached and have uh, tough kids that commit on the defensive end and uh, make it difficult and um, uh, they share the ball on the offensive end. Early on, we knew that they liked to post their, their guards a lot. So um, we'd already known that we'd be scratching down, helping on the guards because they would have a size advantage. I told our guys to start the second half that this team needed to be checked under 70 for us to have a chance to win. If it got to 80, it would be much, much difficult, much, much harder for us to be able to, to win this championship. And I, I believe our guys really bought in to that. We've been a defensive team all year. Williams began to methodically build a working margin out of the locker room as Schultz and James Wang, along with Whittington, helped the Eves take a 53-44 lead with under 12 minutes to play in the game. It was not about offense, even though we were down 10. Fellas, when you're down 10 like that, it's easy for a team to panic. And we, we stayed the course. We kept our poise. We did not get out of character. We just knew it was all about heart at this point as the national, in the national championship game. And uh, we just built a lifelong memory. We've been through the, in this situation before, and we've battled back to win, so we can do it again. The pointers realized they needed two things, more cowbell and more intensity on the defensive end of the floor. Three minutes and 40 seconds after building what would be the largest lead of the game for either team, Williams found itself back dead even after Lewis Hurd drained a three-pointer with 8-12 to go to tie the game at 56-all. The Stevens Point defense that forced 14 turnovers in the game had certainly brought the team back, but it would be a sharp shooter from the bench that would get the team over the top. Dan Tillema scored 15 points in just 15 minutes of play as he hit five of his six shots from the field, including three triples, and he added a key block shot with just 22 seconds left in the game. Usually when I come in, um... The coaches look for me to spark the team off the bench. Um, usually as a player, you don't really think about it too much. Um, you just go out there and play. Um, you know, I hit that one, that first one, and um, that you, you make the first one. It gives you the confidence to keep shooting. And, you know, I had another wide open look, you know, and I just knocked it down. And a lot of those things are just instinct. You know, you just, you just play the game, and then uh, everything just kind of falls into place. Tillema got plenty of help from Jared Jenkins, who dropped in 17 points and made sure the pointers would not relinquish the lead. Williams cut into the advantage on several occasions in the closing minutes, but Jenkins answered with a couple of key three-pointers and a steal and driving lay-in that couldn't have come at a better time for the Wisconsin faithful. It was a big momentum play. I think it made the lead go from three to six after that. So. It was a big momentum play just to give us a little breathing space and just to give us that momentum. And momentum is a big thing in these types of games. I thought the difference um, was the assist to turnover ratio. I think the stats are um, fairly even throughout. Um, they had a two to one assist to turnover ratio and we had a one to two. Williams got within two with 115 to play as Wang got a steal and somehow got the circus shot to fall in off the glass. But Moses, the most outstanding player for the Final Four, would appropriately score the last bucket of the tournament 
to ice the 78-73 national championship victory for Wisconsin Stevens Point. Very disappointed we did not uh, bring a championship back to Williams. However, uh, I'm very proud of the way we represent our institution and uh, our community and I feel like I'm the luckiest coach in the country um, because of how wonderful our young men are off the court and how talented they are on it. Uh, they really got in our face and gave us some trouble. Uh, we still got, I think, plenty of threes off. Just we didn't shoot. I mean, we shot 41%, which isn't bad at all. But you know, we usually shoot a little bit higher. But they were a very good defensive team, and uh, they came out with a lot of energy. I think uh, we've the the returning guys. You know, we've matured more through this experience and. Uh, you know, now we know all the, the possibilities and uh, we're confident for the, with the future. Um, we're confident with the people we return. Obviously, uh, the guys we lose, um, you know, they'll, you can't replace them. Obviously, we're very disappointed that we lost, but, you know, I think just, just reflecting in like 10 minutes after the game, everyone's, you know, like Coach said, we wouldn't trade locker rooms for, any, for, for anything. And uh, I'm happy and proud to be part of this team, and especially with the senior guys. And I know that, you know, for the rest of our lives, we'll, we'll have that bond and that relationship, and it means everything to me.